So I finally have the Omen 15 2020 here in the studio. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it, but this is gonna be an unboxing. I partnered with HP in order to get this laptop. I'm gonna talk about all the new features. Then most importantly, I'm gonna take all of your questions and later on in the week, I'm gonna put out a full review. Now this is an exact retail unit. You go into the store today and you buy an Omen 15, this is what you're gonna get. I got the Intel model with an RTX 2060 and the latest Intel 10th gen i7 processor. Inside the box, you have a bunch of paperwork. You have your charging brick. Now this is a 200 watt charging brick. You can tell by the rounded edges. They put some thought into this compared to the general stuff that you've seen on other gaming laptops. Wow, compared to last year's model, this is a big difference. In fact, I have last year's model right here. This is the Omen 15 Studio Edition. Look how different they look. This one has like a curved back, the laptop is deeper, and it also happens to be wider. Not only did they shrink the form factor, they also reduced the weight. So if you're a student and you love to game and you're taking this to school, you're gonna appreciate the reduced weight in your backpack. Even the lid, just so much cleaner. I love this new logo. There's nothing crazy going on the lid. The lid itself has this like rough texture on it to give it grip, which is kind of neat. The keyboard has also been touched up and looks very stealthy. Based on my first impressions, you have some pretty good travel distance. There's very little keyboard flex. You have a vent on the top to allow air to come in. You have separate arrow keys that are not attached to any like page up or page down keys that you see on other laptops. You have quick access to your insert and home menu and a button to get to the Omen command center. The touchpad. They also improved this. The previous model had two buttons on the bottom. I didn't like the way it felt. This is much bigger. It uses the traditional click method that you've seen on most touchpads in 2020. There's a good selection of IO. On the left-hand side, you have your barrel connector to charge the laptop, ethernet jack, one USB port, HDMI, you have your audio jack and a full-size SD card slot for those gamer creators. On the other side, you have two more USB ports, mini display port and USB type C. This is Thunderbolt 3. So for whatever reason, if you wanna hook up an external GPU, you can do that with this laptop. So one of the latest additions to the Omen 15 is the brand new 300 Hertz display. This is 15 inches, it's IPS. And I know some of you will say that 300 Hertz is a bit overkill since a lot of games can't get over 300 frames per second. Here's the thing though. This newer 300 Hertz display has a better response time than the previous generation 144 Hertz displays. So you're still getting big benefits. It is color accurate, it has good brightness, and the color gamut is great. Like you could game on this, but still use it to do design work. This display can also rotate 180 degrees, and HP has their updated version of their Omen Command Center. This gives you access to a bunch of stuff. For example, you have four zones of RGB lighting, so each zone can be customized to whatever color you want. But it's also used to change the performance. There's different levels of performance with this laptop. If you're just at school and you're browsing the net and you're taking notes, you're gonna wanna leave it on comfort. If you want something that, that gives you a bit uh, of, of battery life, but also gives you a bit of performance, you're gonna keep it on default. If you want something for gaming specifically or to push this laptop to its full potential, you're gonna put it on performance. <laughs> Now performance should be fantastic. I mean, this is using an RTX 2060 and an i7 processor, so any games that come out today, you can run them great at 1080p at high settings. Doesn't matter what title it is, Call of Duty, Overwatch, you name it, this laptop should be able to handle it. On top of that, HP is one of the first companies to introduce IR thermal pile sensor technology. This means this laptop should do a much better job at keeping it cool compared to the competition. This technology measures the temperature of the skin of the laptop to control the CPU and GPU performance, not only allowing the laptop to run cool and efficient, but, but it also allows the laptop to run quieter. Internally, we have some good stuff going on. 
Fan size, I can tell right off the bat, it's bigger compared to the previous model. You have two slots for storage. This one happens to be populated already. This is a Intel Optane drive and gets good read and write speeds. And this one's empty. So you can go out, buy a bigger drive, stick it in here and have more storage space. Battery size, it's only 71 watt hours. So I'm guessing about five to six hours of use before needing to charge, but I'll have to test that out in my full review. You have two slots for RAM, upgradable to 64 gigabytes. Wi-Fi card is soldered onto the motherboard, but it is Wi-Fi 6, so it's something you're not gonna need to upgrade. Honestly, I am happy that Omen changed the design. I think this just looks so clean. Like this looks like a gaming laptop, but it's also respectable enough to bring this into the office. I love the smaller form factor. I'm happy they improved the thermals and I can't wait to test them out. Now, if you're interested in checking out this laptop, there'll be a link in the description down below, but please, drop all your questions in the comment section so that I can answer them in my full review. If you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.